Hey everybody, so I just wanted to uh, show you real quick my new setup for um, sub-zero quench on uh, blades that, that require that, um, that you can use sub-zero, and by that I mean dry ice, we're not talking cryo, <coughs> cryogenic uh, quench is much colder, that's uh, liquid nitrogen, sub-zero quench down to negative 95 degrees. So um, in the past I've used like um, a pan like a, a large, uh, deeper oven type pan for baking. And that, you know, that works okay. You put it in a cooler and stuff like that, but it's, 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 it's messy because you have to use, uh, some type of, um, petroleum or, or some type of non-water, obviously based, uh, liquid, um, to essentially, uh, melt the dry ice slowly. And, and that brings the temperature down. Uh, more. I don't know why, but that's how it works. Just as just as when you would use rock salt on your ice when you're making ice cream in the old hand crank um, ice cream makers, because it brings the temperature below 32 degrees below freezing. Like I say, I don't know why, but that's what it does. So, um, and it also conducts the cold better to your blade, and that's why you don't simply just stick your blades in dry ice alone. Anyway, that being said, it's kind of a messy uh, setup, and so having you know, in a, in a pan where you're trying to balance it and put it in a cooler and all that kind of stuff to keep things as cool as possible has never been very effective. So I, I devised a new way to do this and I um, went to the, the hardware store <clears throat> and bought a one foot section of four inch pipe. So it's four inches on the inside di diameter. Uh, it's black PVC pipe. And uh, that was nice because I didn't have to buy a whole piece, which I don't need a whole piece. One foot's a little bit short, so I went ahead and got a coupler and that gives me another inch and a half, so I'm, I'm, I'm uh, good, f I haven't measured it, but like 14 inches deep now, and that's really going to be <coughs> pretty adequate for uh, most blades, I mean, you're really not going to get much taller than that for most use blades, and then of course a cap here to seal it off so that it's a container, um, and it's cemented up and everything like that, so now what I can do is I can take this filthy bucket, and I've put a uh, piece of foam, uh, uh, you know, stiff foam insulation in the bottom, and this will sit right here, like so, so it'll be insulated from the bottom, and then I have a, uh, a, roll, a piece of uh, R19 insulation that will be, I can't do this one-handed, uh, but I, I took it apart here, but maybe I can, um, roll this around here, and then just drop it down into the bucket like this. Kind of let this sort of um, expand as much as possible to get the insulative value that we want, or that we can, as much as we can. Okay, and then, um, so my dry ice slurry will go in here, and then once I deposit the blades, I will put this next chunk of uh, foam insulation and, and press it down to the uh, um, pipe and then put some heavy on it so that it's going to be completely encapsulated in insulation and um, I think it will be just as good as a cooler and much more containable and less messy so um, yeah I'm looking forward to using it so I thought I'd just share that real quick as an inexpensive I think the pipe costs about 15 bucks these all these these pieces and then Actually, everything else I just had laying around. So, very inexpensive way to create a insulated, uh, less messy container for your Sub-Zero Quench. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.